Okay, so we've got this default Vite React app set up. And I didn't show you, we can make changes. So if I drop this on here and then come over like on this heading in the app.tsx file and I say hello world for tradition's sake, as soon as I do the control S here in a second to save, it's going to make the change on the page. So I'm gonna do control S and immediately it detects a, a, a difference between the, the code that I've written and the, the DOM and it says, okay, the thing that changed was that H1 tag, and so it goes in and modifies that one tag. And so we'll talk a lot more about that process, but I wanted to show you that we can make changes, and just by saving them this running uh, page, it will be reflected on there. All right, well, there's a bunch of files in this default setup, and, and I'm not gonna go over each of them, but I do wanna talk about one in particular because um, this wasn't part originally of the, the React uh, set up the react template but there's a thing called es lint code linting is uh, enforcing what we call design patterns in coding and so these aren't rules that the computer doesn't care if you write all your code on one line it can figure it out um, but as humans it's really hard to read that code and so we have design patterns in the way that we write our code in uh, the way we break out functions and the way that we use indentation and line spacing and the, the way we name our uh, methods, our functions, our variables, our classes, all of that fall into design patterns for language. And so as you switch languages from language to language, you get used to different design patterns. All right, so with that, um, ESLint is a, is a uh, third-party package is, is eventually adopted into this default React app. And so if I click on this ESLint config.js, it's brought in all the recommended rules. Um, and so it's bringing in uh, some standard rules that are going to be enforced. And so sometimes, even if we don't make an error per se, so I'm going to go in my app.tsx file, and I'm just going to declare another variable, a constant called hello, and put in there hi. And that's just a line of code. Now it's giving me an error, right? If I look at this, it's, it's being highlighted in red. And if I hover over it, it tells me up here that in the TypeScript ESLint we're using, it, it has a rule called no unused variables as one of its default recommended rules that we shouldn't declare variables that we never use. And so the app will still run, um, but that's coming from ESLint. And so um, we can go in if we want to, we can add other rules for ourselves that, that we must follow. So we come in here and we say, let's add a rule and there's lots of different rules you could add, but uh, we have all the recommended one in already, but we could add another rule that would be, we're basically cr telling the program to uh, hold us accountable to writing good code. And so ESLint is one of the things that we, uh, used to import in our default setup, but now it just comes as part of this default V setup. Well, there's one other one that we do need to import that's used in pretty much every video, every book that I've looked at. Whenever we're writing React, um, we use this, this other uh, package that we call Prettier. And so, uh, I don't know if you can hear, it's really raining outside right now. I don't know if the microphone's picking that up at all. It's coming down. All right, so for prettier, so let me go back to the app TSX and take out that line um, and I'll save. And to get prettier in, we need to do a, a few different things. One is that we're gonna go back to the terminal, so new terminal window, and we're going to type in npm. So again, we're using the node package manager from node.js, install prettier, and then I'll put on this save dev which means that it's uh, for development. So this is going to add Prettier to this project. Now, I just talked about ESLint enforcing code rules. Prettier uh, makes sure that, uh, in, in a similar way, that the styles are enforced, that make sure the code looks good, that, we're, that if we put a, uh, you know, a single quote, it changes it to a double quote or those types of things. 
it's going to take and help us as we just make sure that we write good code. And so uh, we ran the command, and then we need to add the prettier extension. I think I've already got it in here, but on you, on yours, go to extensions, which is this button here, and we're going to search for prettier. And again, I think mine's already installed it, uh, so you'll need to click install if you don't have it installed already, and that will install install the. Um, prettier code formatter, which again is just a, uh, a package that's enforcing, us, uh, enforcing the writing of good code. Um, and so we get that installed and then in order to have the rules for prettier, we're going to go back into our files and then at the same level that we have our package JSON, so in the front end folder I'm just going to create a new file and we want to name this one prettierrc.json. That's the file it's going to look for to find the rules. And then in here we can put in some of the standard rules that we have. And so I'll put a couple of braces and then we can say one of the rules is um, that we use semicolons. So semi true. And then we have single quote. And do we want to allow to use single quotes or not? And so one of the default behaviors of pretty here is to say true on that. I don't know why that's not like in this that I do. Oh, I just need the quote first and then the, the colon. Uh, another one is uh, <clears throat> JSX single quote. And we use double quotes in JSX, so we're going to set JSX single quote to false. And again, as soon as we save, it's going to go in and fix the code for us to follow these rules. And so if we've used double quotes while as we're writing our JSX code, it will change them to single quotes. Okay, let's do a couple more. So there's one called trailing comma. And we're going to say ES5. And I can't even remember what that means. I'll top of my head, and I've messed up this one above it, we need to have false in there. A couple more, we'll have to look up what that one is. Print width is 80 characters, we're going to wrap lines at 80 characters, and again if you don't like that you could change it to be 60, or you could change it to be 90. We're setting up the rule here of how this is going to be uh, enforced. Our tab width, default of 2, and then uh, we're going to say end of line auto. All right, so this is just a pretty standard setup of some different uh, prettier rules. And then I'm going to save that. And then we have to do one other thing in order to make this uh, so that the prettier and ESLint don't conflict. We don't want them fighting with each other. And so we're going to run one more command. We're going to say npm install save dev and then we're going to say eslint space prettier space eslint config hyphen prettier eslint hyphen config hyphen prettier and then space eslint plugin prettier and this is basically just telling the two that Prettier is going to override some of the stuff in ESLint. We're going to make these two get along together so they don't battle against each other. So npm space install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev space ESLint space prettier space ESLint hyphen config hyphen prettier space ESLint hyphen plugin hyphen prettier. All right, so we'll run this command. And it'll take a second. Again, this is just kind of the, the default uh, setup. If we're, if we're getting into React, we, we typically have ESLint, we typically have Prettier. And now that that's done, then I just close out of Visual Studio, reopen. And now it will go in and enforce these rules. So if I go into the app TSX and I do my const hello and set equal using double quotes then when I save it'll change them to single quotes and those rules are being enforced 
Okay, let's actually build something. Spencer out.